In this guide, we will look at the process for extracting video, audio, and subtitle or other subpicture streams from a Blu-ray source stored on your hard drive. It starts with the assumption that the files on your hard drive have the same folder structure as the original disk. In particular, you will need a BDMV folder, which contains both the playlist and stream subfolders. You will also need to have identified the playlists and M2TS files associated with the titles you wish to extract. If you need help identifying titles, you should start with After Dawn's video guide on analyzing titles from a Blu-ray disc. You can also find a companion guide on our website, which also includes both video guides. Once you have identified the playlists, which correspond to the titles you wish to extract, you can use ME GUI for the job. ME GUI is an entire suite of video and audio tools, one of which is the HD Streams Extractor. Using this tool, we will be able to extract each stream in any given playlist to its own file. In other words, there will be one file for video, one for each audio stream, and another for each sub-picture stream. Any streams that you don't wish to extract may be skipped. After starting ME GUI, you will need to open the HD Streams Extractor from the Tools menu. First open the Tools menu and select HD Streams Extractor. Once that window opens, use the Browse button to open your Blu-ray files. Navigate to the root folder from your Blu-ray disc. You don't need to navigate all the way to the BDMV folder. The Streams Extractor will find that for itself. Click the OK button and wait for the Streams Extractor tool to identify the playlists. Once it is finished, you will see a message at the bottom of the window saying Feature Retrieval Completed. Now you will need to examine the streams in each playlist you wish to extract. If you followed the instructions in our previous guide, this will be as simple as looking at the list of files saved using Media Player Classic Home Cinema. Next, select the first playlist included in your list of titles and wait for the included streams to be detected. Once the list of streams is populated, you can examine them to set any options for extraction. In the case of a video stream, you need to decide whether you want it extracted into an MKV or Matroska file, or whether you would rather extract it to an elementary stream. Unless you are sure the software you will be using to process the video later on supports elementary video streams of the type you have, it's best to stick with the MKV option. Then you can move on to the audio streams. For DTS or AC3, otherwise known as Dolby Digital, there are no extraction options to worry about. You will just need to decide whether or not to keep them. For DTS HD or Dolby True HD streams, on the other hand, there are lots of extraction options to consider. For true HD streams, you may choose to extract just the lossless audio, skipping the embedded AC3 stream. If you wish to keep both the lossy AC3 and the lossless true HD portions of the stream together, use the THD plus AC3 option. For DTS high resolution streams, there is just a single DTS HD option, which essentially does the same thing. Select the AC3 option to extract only the lossy Dolby Digital Stream from a true HD track. This will discard the higher quality lossless portion, resulting in a much smaller file. There is also a DTS option, which does the same thing for DTS high resolution tracks. If the audio is lossless, meaning true HD, 
most DTS high resolution, or PCM, you may prefer to extract it as a FLAC file. FLAC is a free lossless compression format which is more suitable for playback on a computer than either DTS high resolution or Dolby True HD. If you are planning to put the title into a MKV file for playback on a computer, this is usually preferred. If, on the other hand, you plan to play it on a standalone player, like a Blu-ray player, FLAC isn't a good option right now. The other option you may want to consider for lossless audio is WAVE. However, even though you won't lose quality this way, you may run into problems if the audio stream has more than two channels. As a general rule, WAVE should be avoided unless you need it for compatibility with some program. You will not need to set any options for subtitle extraction. They will be extracted in SUP format automatically. You can control which streams are extracted from a title by using the checkbox to the left of each stream. You may find that the streams extractor does not list all the playlists you wish to extract. That's because very short titles are ignored. In that case, you will need to extract those titles by M2TS file rather than by playlist. Once again, we can use the informational files from Media Player Classic Home Cinema to help out. Return to the Windows Explorer window and open the text file for the playlist that isn't listed in the Streams Extractor. The name of the M2TS file for that title will be listed on the source line. Now return to the Streams Extractor window and switch from Folder Input to File Input mode. Once again, you will use the Browse button, but this time you will need to navigate to the Stream folder from your Blu-ray disc. Select the M2TS file you identified and click the Open button. Then you can follow the same procedure as before for selecting streams and setting options. You can close the text file as soon as your M2TS file has been opened. Returning once again to the Streams Extractor window. By default, the HD Streams Extractor will close as soon as you create a job to extract the streams from one title. If you need to extract more than one title, you should uncheck the box next to and close so you don't have to repeat the title and stream discovery process multiple times. You can either check it again before adding your last extraction job or simply close the window with the X button at the top when you are done. The last thing you will need to do before creating your first job is set the destination folder. Navigate to the desired folder and click the OK button. Finally, use the Q button to add an extraction job for the streams currently shown in the Streams Extractor window. Repeat for each additional title. Once all your extraction jobs are queued and the HD Streams Extractor window closed, return to the main ME GUI window. Then go to the Q window where you will see each job listed. You will be able to see which jobs were added in file mode because they won't have movie name listed in the output column. Click the Start button to begin extraction. ME GUI will begin each job by analyzing the M2TS file or files. This will be followed by the actual extraction. The process will be repeated for each job. 
once extraction has finished your streams are ready to be used.